Hello friends. So welcome again to this session on number systems. Now, in the last uh, session, we studied, uh, you know, some basics about number system. We saw a uh, few types of numbers as well. We saw natural numbers, we saw whole numbers, and we also saw integers. And we saw that all these numbers, the set of numbers uh, had to be uh, formulated because there was some kind of a limitation to the set of number system till that point, right? So for example, uh, we discussed that uh, the set of numbers, natural numbers was not closed for subtraction. That means if you would have subtracted a bigger number from a smaller number, you would not get a solution in the same set of natural numbers. So we had to go with, let's say, a set of whole numbers and and then uh, subsequently with a set of integers. So now you you have you would uh, you also understood last time that set of natural numbers is represented by letter n and what were uh, natural numbers 0 1 2 3 counting numbers right not not 0 i'm sorry it's 1 2 3 4 and so on and so forth then uh, 0 was added to the set of natural numbers and uh, whole numbers were found out so and then uh, we also found out set of integers which which is represented by uh, letter z and we understood the logic behind all these letters and symbols as well now going forward uh, we will be you know discussing some more types of numbers uh, before that we also learned uh, the concept of number line that means um, the set of integers which is like a universal set so far where all the other sets for example sets of uh, whole numbers and natural numbers are within the set of integers itself so integer set of integers is the largest in set we are saying largest in terms of all the others are included in the integer set as of now now we represented numbers integers on number line we had an infinitely long number line and uh, we started from any point let us say we mentioned this as zero and then we distributed uh, or divided the line into equal intervals in equal parts so and then we uh, mentioned or we indicated those points by our integers 1 2 3 4 on the right side right hand side of 0 and uh, negative integers on the left hand side of 0 and in both direction it is increasing infinitely okay so we also learned few properties natural numbers are closed for addition what does this mean you add two natural numbers you will get a natural number only but natural numbers are not closed for subtraction why because if you it's not necessary that when you subtract two natural numbers you will get a natural number example 3 minus 5 is not a natural number isn't it not a natural number this we learned last class last session whole numbers are nothing but natural number plus zero whole numbers are closed for addition that means like natural numbers if you add two whole numbers you will get a whole number but like natural numbers whole numbers are also not closed for subtraction that means if you subtract zero minus five it's not a natural or a whole number right then we invented something called integers and integers is a set of all negative zero and positive numbers integers are closed both for addition as well as subtraction why because now you know three minus five is negative two minus two which is also an integer so uh, integer is a set of uh, numbers which is you know closed for both addition as well subtraction now moving ahead we'll today understand the concept of or let's say a new type of number which is called rational rational numbers what are rational numbers and why are they called so right so first we'll define rational numbers and before that also we will see why rational numbers were required so for example let us say you were a you know owner of a field where let's say 10 farmers are working on working on your field 10 farmers 10 farmers are working on your field and you are giving them as a salary uh, one loaf of bread to each one of them one loaf of bread right one day you know one guy didn't turn up so only nine farmers were there nine farmers were there and now you have to distribute so for 10 farmers you had how many loaves of bread 10 loaves right and now only nine has turned up and you have 10 to distribute how would you distribute this now it would be you know very intuitive for you guys because you have already you know learned this but during that time when there was no concept of fractions it was very difficult to you know uh, 
do these things so hence but later on uh, they came up with this that okay we can devise a new number now so each one of them got one loaf each and the last one was divided into 10 parts i'm sorry nine parts and each of them each part is was then distributed to each one of the farmers now this is a new concept right until that time there was no concept of a number which is a part of a number right so for example 1 upon 9 is the ninth part of 1 ninth part of 1 so one bread was divided into nine parts now each one was a part of a whole right so part which was less than the whole itself so one part of the loaf was less than the whole bread this is nothing this is something uh, new so hence now you are saying that on the number line if you had 0 and then next is 1 you are trying to find out a number between 0 and 1 which was not known earlier now these type of numbers which were like which are also called fractions fractions are now called rational numbers rational numbers why the word rational and the the word rational gets its justification from the word irrational because it was very difficult to define the significance of irrational numbers and uh, hence these numbers came to be known as rational numbers right also you can see uh, like this uh, this rational number also contains a word ratio isn't it so hence if you can see this is a uh, kind of a you know ratio of two numbers two integers um, uh, you know uh, to to be precise but the thing is that's just a justification it's, it's not that it's ratio and hence it is called rational number rational so if you if you know what does rationality means rationality means objective objectivity where you can explain stuff right we can we can reason out you can justify but irrationality means where you can you know the reasons are not known or it is unjustified right so hence uh this was this was originally because of uh, this something like this that if there is a square fence and uh, each side is of one unit let us say the square is of side unit one then the diagonal length the diagonal length is something which was not known so uh, how to find out the length of the diagonal now today you know it's nothing but root two isn't it but root two was appearing to be irrational, or you know, it was it was having it was having no significance as such uh, when irrational numbers were you know uh, discovered or invented, whichever way you want to say it. Uh, hence, the other set of numbers became rational to the set of numbers which were called irrational numbers. We'll discuss rational irrational in a bit uh, in more detail sometime later. But just understand, there were few numbers whose justification was not known how to calculate root 2 was not known basically what is root 2 what should be a number x which when multiplied by itself should get 2 this was what the definition of square root was right but unfortunately they could not find that one number and hence they were a little befuddled that how can there exist a number whose square or which when multiplied by itself gets you 2 so they could never find that number you know one number they uh, so there were methods by which they can they did a lot of trial and error to get a right right uh, x value but they could not do it hence they said these are something called irrational numbers and if everything else which could, could be justified for example if there is a loaf of bread and if you divide into two parts right so one part can be written as one upon two so this so this was coined as a rational number or for example again another bread which is divided into three parts let us say one two and three so one part was one upon three again this was reasonable it can you know it makes sense but you know you were not able to find out square root of two was something which is unreasonable at that point in time hence these numbers were called irrational numbers i hope you understood it so now let's you know define rational numbers so what are rational numbers what are rational numbers so you now know rational numbers must be some kind of a fraction so you say a number a number this is a formal definition of a rational number a, rum, a number in the form of form of p upon q okay where where p and q are integers integers so you now know integers now we are going beyond integers 
and that is p upon q this is a kind of a fraction and q is not equal to 0 why because division by division by 0 is not defined in mathematics is not defined we don't know what would be the quotient like right and we also have another criteria so you can write a this is a criteria a criteria b and criteria c is hcf in which in technical terms we also called gcd gcd or this is highest highest common factor you must have must have studied which is also called greatest common divisor greatest common divisor this is these are the same terms but in technical language gcd is used more often and it is denoted by gcd and then two numbers that is p and q so gcd of p and q must be equal to one that means p and q must not have common factors if there are common factors they must be reduced by eliminating those common factors so example example 5 upon 6 is a rational number why because both 5 and 6 are integers are integers 6 is clearly not equal to 0 and if you see gcd of 5 and 6 that is the hcf of 5 and 6 is also 1 there is no common factor between 5 and 6 similarly minus 2 by 3 right both minus 2 and 3 are integers integers clearly 3 is not equal to 0 and gcd of there is no common factor between minus 2 and 3 yep so these are examples of uh, rational numbers or for that matter all integers you must notice all integers are rational numbers rational numbers why because any integer for example let us say 7 can be written as 7 upon 1 and then you can see it, it satisfies all the three conditions of rationality correct similarly minus 5 is nothing but minus 5 upon 1 but all rational numbers all rational numbers need not be need not be integers right for example 1 upon 2 is a rational number but it is not an integer not an integer isn't it all rational numbers need not be integer so i hope you understood the concept of natural numbers there are three criteria for rational numbers it must be in the form of p by q where p and q are integers q must not be equal to zero and gcd of the two numbers p and q must be one please remember this uh, definition one other thing is let us say if uh, there is a number like or there's a fraction like 6 upon 8 is it a rational number in this form it is not but it can be reduced to a rational number like 3 by 4 now 3 by 4 is the correct rational representation of 6 by 8 okay understood similarly 12 upon 15 can be represented as or written as uh, what 4 upon 5 right so this is now a rational number i hope you understood the concept of rational number and the three criteria please bear in mind these three criteria are going to be used multiple number of times for various concepts and problem solving thank you